Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex from Not Casuals and today we are going to be playing Star Wars The Old Republic and uh, we are going to be discussing and showing you the changes in 1.1, the new patch that just arrived today. Now the first thing I want to talk about is that they nerfed Biochem. Uh, this was, uh, I mean, we all knew it was coming. Uh, we just didn't know at, at what point it will hurt us. And it's a pretty big nerf, honestly. You are not going to be able to get the 5k medal anymore with your Rakata med pack. Um, you can still get a 2.5k one if you are not a healer. But you're going to lose a medal if you can't heal yourself for a total of 5k. So this is a big hit. Uh, it's definitely going to lower the farm potential of biochem and PvP. So I'm not actually sure if it's still worth it. Maybe consider other professions. We're going to have to look into it. Alright, now I want to discuss the changes of Hillam. Uh, they basically, it's not a flipping with the other faction like before, if you didn't know. You only had to click like these crawlers and the enemy team had to do the same and it was like just an exchange more like anything. There was no point in killing the Republic. Now they changed Hillam that you have to collect supply crates or kill players. So you have to defeat like a total of 30 enemies or collect 30 supply crates, um, collect armaments I mean. So uh... Yeah, that's a different change, although I'm guessing it's going to be a bit more complicated and time consuming to do, but it's a bit lo more logical though, like it's not just flipping with the enemy faction, you know. So it's actually going to ask you to uh, wander around. And also, um, they added a new feature. Whenever people get close to a node, like um, this, like, there's like, what, five nodes? Yeah. Every time somebody gets closer to the one of these, it will tell you like a pop-up message saying like a sitting quest or Xeno is coming close to uh, the seller node, for example. So uh, it's a cool feature to know like where people are, to know if there's some action, like it just happened right now. So let's AOE these guys. And let's try to get a group. Oh, I got a kill or something. I know, it's interesting, but I don't like camping their base. I mean, it's kind of lame, you know? Yeah, take that! Republic scum! But, uh... Alright, um... Hmm. So, uh, there's a fuck ton of people there. And getting pulled in there will be... Certain that... <laughs> there's too many people in there. And actually, they're kind of pushing us off, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back here. Woo! And that Rakata med pack doesn't heal for shit anymore. Holy cow. Man, the fucking FPS drop here is terrible though. Okay, maybe I'm recording though, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to buy a better computer, you know? <laughs> I mean, we had a better advantage if we were to be fighting in the middle of their base, you know? It's kind of rough to fight in here. Big numbers! This pass assist I'll help invite. Sure. Promote to assistant lead. Oh snap, he got pulled. I'll pull him back because I'm a good guy. Oh, he's out of range. Eh, never mind, you're dead. So, yeah. I think it's just killing blows because I sure did a lot of damage on this guy and I did not get my... Uh, my railer stuff, you know? If it's killing blows, this is gonna be a bitch. I wonder if it's the same on the other side of this base. Yeah, it is killing blows. I just got a kill on this guy. Wow, that is pretty. Uh, I have mixed feelings, guys. I have a lot of mixed feelings right now. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's definitely more fun than just flipping, you know? That's undeniable. <laughs> but, I mean, getting... Maybe they should have put, like, more cannons near the base or something so that we can't camp in here, you know? I am such a kill stealer. Holy shit. <laughs> 
I mean, it's somewhat fun, I guess, for just that there's action in Hillam. But I don't see how this can be fun for them, though. I mean, they're pretty much getting camped. I mean, they, they might be able to kill a few of us, but they need more, like, power attacks. It's not power attacks, but is it troopers? Whatever. That pull you in there, you know? But yeah, if you're doing this, uh, get a group, because it's going to be easier to get uh, even probably an operation. Yeah, like 8-man group or 16-man group, or actually everybody in the same group, and this should be pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Ah, shit, that's because I got group leader and they still haven't fixed that, like that spam that we just saw. I'm actually dying, so uh, we're gonna try and save ourselves. Alright, let's see the Veil again, though. Like, I keep saying 200, 200, 200. That seems like a lot. Like, this might be better. Um, Valor than doing war zones. And right now I'm not. Oh shit! I am in trouble. No! All right, I'm dead. Um, I'll try and get a res because I don't want to walk back. All right, so two more kills and then we'll be done with this daily. And we are slowly pushing him back into their base. Alright, and I'm done. Ooh, that was quick. And I actually want to check something. Yep, the Valor is actually shared within the entire group. And that's the base cannon shooting at us, so people are gonna die really quick now. Yeah, that's a decent amount of wow. <laughs> Back up, guys, you're all gonna die. These cannons hurt. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, I'm out of here. But um, yeah, so the conclusion to this new patch um, is probably the best way to farm Valor at this point. So if you just want, want um, uh, to level up, do this if you don't care about commendations. Because so far I don't think I gained any commendations. I don't, really don't think I did. And if I did, it was really small amounts. But um, yeah, if you want to just score in Valor ranks, uh, do this. I think you need to capture all the f the nodes though, because I think most of the Valor you get is from the bonus on controlling the area. But um, yeah, and uh, obviously if on my server there's a lot more Imperial than Republic, so it might not be a fair fight for them. But um, if your server is more like even ratio, it might be a bit more fun, a bit more challenging, you know. Also, um, I just heard that some people are already Valor uh, rank 80 on other servers using this method to farm because it gives so much, like 200 when you have all the bonus, like I said. So um, might want to use this and do this as much as possible, like before, because this is most likely going to be nerfed, uh, the amount that you get, because this is way too much. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend using it uh, while it lasts, guys. Alright, now that we are going to turn in our daily quest, we are going to choose our Battlemaster bag. And um, they changed how the loot system worked for Battlemaster at least. And when you open this, you have a chance to either get uh, nothing, like I just did. Or you can get, um, what is it called? Let's take this for now. Um, la la la. It's Battlemaster Commendations. And how this works, uh, you will get probably one I'm guessing. And then you go to your NPC, your Battlemaster NPC, and some items will require one commendation, other will require two, and like the weapons and stuff will require three, so you're gonna have to farm these. It's not gonna be like a random piece of gear in your bag anymore. So it's an interesting change. I actually like this because I wasn't a fan of random loot. With this method you can at least uh, choose what you want, so it's pretty nice. And the reason why I already have two uh, Battlemaster recommendation was because I had uh, two unassembled uh, relic token that I got before the patch and I decided not to turn them in and this morning they were gone and I checked and I had commendation instead so that's pretty cool. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. This was Alex from Not Casuals. And if you liked the video, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe. You can also hit that like button if you wish to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description box, guys. Thank you.